TZ Nation 87 on a LST Swap 1987. And I own a Boston that's going to be a Terminated Cobra, but that's not the change too because I got news for you. Babe. How did you guys enjoy that line? Love this car. I really love it. I had to throw the America at the end of it. What you see is I'm going to be doing the next mod on the IRAC Z. Somewhere in that video, like I did with the other video, I showed you what was I going to do next. My OG subscribers should know exactly what I'm talking about. When they seen that box, comment down below. If you're not already, please like, subscribe to the build. It's gonna get even bigger. This is just the beginning. Believe it or not, this is just the beginning. I know my paint is so, it's rough on edges. It's, the paint is sticking, but it's rough on edges. I wanna keep it like that. I want to be different. People might laugh. People might say I'm retarded. People might say I'm stupid, idiotic, chaotic, or whatever. Oh, that rhymes. Trace, coming for you, Trace. I will have it sanded down and buffed out to him. See my spec. The name remains until icy, and it will stay like this until the spring. When it is warmer, I can uh, do the wet sanding, and I can get it down to my own to the level of pure perfection. Subscribe if you want more of this. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe just because you like the car. Just subscribe. Just go ahead and hit that bell icon right up here. To see more because there's more coming. Believe it or not, there's more coming. The iRock ZL1 theme is coming into play. But you guys, he's one guy who wants to see a new upgrade. And think about what can he possibly do that's even better than this. And I will show you guys in a second. So watching uh it's just a six in his camaro congratulations and he just got back and bought back he needs he should keep that 
But yeah, this is the new episode. Huh. Cops going on in the background. I'll try to talk over the cops that's going by. People should be like, why does he have this box? What, what was this box? What was in this underneath this box? And my OG subscribers should know what was in this box. I gotta let you guys know what's in this box. So you, you gotta work with me about what's in this box. And I'm a turn. Well, I'm gonna show you guys what is in that box. All right, guys. Three, two, one. That box is, hell oh yes, the 15% window tent. Cops are probably gonna pull me over. I pay the fine and keep it going. 15% window tent is what I have today. My first time doing this. We're actually installing her today. We're installing this today. So let's get started now. All right, guys. So what I did right now, it may not seem clean, but I trust me, it is clean. I've done the best I can with what I have. So if it doesn't come out perfect, like I said, I'm doing the best I can with what I have. A lot of the stuff that doesn't that I've done so far has not came out perfect. Like I said, I'm doing the best I can with what I have. I don't have a lot. Don't judge me on this. Here we go. So I cleaned it out. I sprayed it with water and I cleaned it off. I'm about to spray it with water again. And then I'm going to spray. I'm going to take off the roll and then I'm going to lay it down first because I'm doing this first and I'm doing the sides next. So that's what we're going to do. All right. The thing is, I thought the film would be a little bit wider. It looks like I'm going to have to do like a strip like a half and half. I've never seen that done. But <laughs> that's going to give it. So now that I have, I have this all wet, I gotta cut down, cut down the grooves and cut down the edges. So it matches up with everything inside of the car. Just have that wet now, this is wet in here. All this wet, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna straighten this out and then we'll cut where it needs to be. I made a little mistake here. Like I said, I'm not perfect. That's for the upper one anyway. Let's just straighten this out a bit. See, just straighten that out. Up. That mistake here It'll be the one it won't even matter because I'll be cutting it off around there. So I'll give you one another. It's still wet. I clean the other side and I wetted that down. But the next thing to do, well, it's already wet. I'm gonna wet it again. Matter of fact, I'm gonna wet it as I'm talking to you. I'm just going to just spray this down. I'm gonna keep this wet and then I'm gonna put both sides on the I'm gonna put both sides. And believe me, this car is not as easy to work on as what I would, as you would think that it is. But again, this is coming from a noob who just doing it for the first time. So <sighs> work with me here. So we're almost done. Damn airplane. So let's see. I am telling you, to tent the back window of a third gen, it is not as easy as you think it is. There's imperfections, let me tell you why. See this, this is for the antenna wire and the radio reception. Let me tell you how this is in the way of all of this going dry. Mind you, I'm doing this with the card. People will actually use, because you have the card and it smashes, it, it pushes the water out. Pushes the water out. But see the thing is when I come to here, that stops me. And whatever I push out, it just comes right back because of this thing here. It's the most difficult thing. As far as the middle is concerned, I got a little bubble to get. After that, I'm good. But on the sides, see? It, it gets tough. See? This is that this, this air pocket, and there's like so much water on this side. As far as everything else, it just comes in regular. You just keep doing it and doing it until you get all the water. See how it's starting to come out? Just gotta get all that out, all because that's all this is nothing but water. So I gotta get all that out. Other than that, yeah, no, very shitty job. For some reason, it's just not wanting. Just stick. I don't know. It's just something up with this window. 
it won't stick on this window. The middle will, I guess because it, it curves down and it, it just won't stick on this window. What else could I say? I'm a noob. I'm trying. I have move on to the next one. To you, these two windows. Now again, like I said, I know there are a lot of imperfections and everything. Most experienced one. But this one came out a lot better than that. So I'm gonna go on the other side, but I don't know what's going on. Thing, but for some reason, it's like it's like doing the same stuff. I don't know because it's, if it's old, because I've had it for over a year now. I don't know what's going on. For the most part, the rest of the stuff, it seems to be going around real nice. Look, you see, as I'm pushing it, I'm actually it's actually sticking after I get done pushing it. It's just, I guess, because it's it's 60 degrees. Like I told you, I'm doing a lot of these videos at once. I guess that's why it's not really sticking. It's just not sticking on the edges for some reason. Oh no, it's, now it's starting to stick. Earlier it wasn't sticking on the edges. And now, now it's kind of starting to stick. I don't know why it keeps wrinkling like this. As I have it stretched out. Well, it looks good, 15% window tint. I mean, you can see in there. There's no reason why 15% window tint should be illegal. That's 15%. I can see through there like, like it's nothing. Thank God it's not a fishbowl. As you can see the difference between this and that. <laughs> not bad. Now we gotta do this side. I gotta wash that window. Just watching this just a six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep it cool. Just keep it cool. Keep my ITs down. Let's set it on the mark. So that you know that I have all like a lot more rolls. If anybody professional comes over and help you out, I have extra rolls that I'm gonna keep. By all means, I am no professional. I don't claim to be a professional. I'm a noob guy. You, you, man, turn around. Turn around, man, just turn around. Trust me, just trust me. There you go. Oh, it is not the best at all, but I did the best that I could with what I had. 15% on the side. I'm still working on some of that. I'm still trying to wipe that down. And on the other side, got the same thing. There's a little mishap at the top. I don't know, for, the, for some reason on the edges, it doesn't seem like it wants to stick. The solid part seems to be the middle, but when it comes time for the edges, somehow it just does not want to stick, as you can see there. Yes, as you can see, let me move this. Yes, guys, I did do that strip in the front like I said I wanted to do. If you want to take a look on the inside, see? And like I said, I got to fix some edges. But let's go on the inside. See on the inside, it is nice and dark in here. I don't know, I might just redo that off camera. I just might redo that. The strip, it looks great. That looks great. I'll probably get a ticket for this. I know I'll get a ticket for this, but I'm gonna just pay the fine and keep it going because that's all that I'm gonna do. Pay the fine, I'm not removing my tent. Pay the well, 200, $250 fine. And keep it rolling. And it's only doing that because right now it's on the brick and there's something's not in it and it's rubbing against this one. So I gotta close it. See? 
So with that being said, guys, like I said again, if you are stopping it for the first time, please like, subscribe, comment down below. If you want to get a notification whenever my video comes up, please, guys, hit the notification bell. If you enjoy the content, give this video a big old thumbs up. It was not easy. It was not an easy task. Not as easy as people would think it would be. I honestly thought it was relatively easy, and it's not. It's really not. Now I see why you know, they charge like two, two hundred fifty, three hundred dollars to do this full tent. Tent looks looking good. Fix it a little bit more so that way it doesn't look that bad. It looks bad, but not as bad as the first one. Yeah, fix it up more in there too. I got a little bit of work to do, but just stop making that. Yeah, just so you know, I'm coming in closer. See you next video. But with that said, being said, guys, all of my links are down in the links below Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TV, YouTube, Instagram. Or you can follow me at RRT Mission 87, all of them in this below. I'm not the best when it comes to time for attempting. There's a lot of imperfections, yes, I know. Paint imperfections, yes, I know. Brown effects, imperfections, yes, I know. Blah, blah, blah. You have to tell me. I'm just putting my vision together and my way my vision the way I see fit. I, there is, there's going to be a time where I can come back and do everything and be 10 times better than what it does look now. But in the meantime, tomorrow's getting tired. In the meantime, that's that. I'm going to keep it at my back. Let it tat, tat, tat. Coming to the trace. Looking at my days. Looking at the time. Got to watch the time. I don't know what the hell um, with the grind, but I'm coming in slowly. Don't control me. I'm steady in my lane. I'm in the fast lane, so anything goes, don't care about the holes. Try to get my tires running, you know what I'll be concerning. We're going on to the days done, continuous one. I am the one, we just got it done. Lock down, lock down, and I'm coming here with a fast one. Trace, coming for you. <laughs> but anyway, guys, if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. T Z. All the way to the end, guys. Take care. Have a great day, guys.